support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. I do see that, uh, that Leo's here, so our next guest is here. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Fantastic, how are you? Good, doing well. Go, go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Yeah, so I'm uh, Leo Tracci. I'm founder and CEO of uh, a company called Clever Pet, the makers of uh, the Fluent Pet Exile system. So we make a system that uh, helps people communicate with the animals in their lives. So you can, uh, if you've got a dog or a cat, you can teach them to press buttons and maybe ask you to go outside or for some food or some water. All right, very interesting. So, so how does this work? What all, what all is involved in this, uh, this process? Yeah, so um, what we're doing is we're taking a, uh, my background's in cognitive science. So I did an undergrad degree in it and then I was in the PhD program in cognitive science at UCSD. And so what uh, the, the really cool realization was that back in actually the fall of 2019, this one woman, Christina Hunger, showed that she could take the techniques of speech language pathology uh, in which she uh, is teaching, say, young uh, individuals uh, that like children who have trouble communicating. She teaches them to communicate by pressing buttons that have on them word sounds and uh, so that they can ask for what they want. She found that you could take those same techniques and apply them to uh, teaching them to a dog and the dog would show a lot of the same markers of understanding and ability as the, uh, as, as she was seeing in infants. And so this actually sparked a huge wave of really, um, of, of people who saw that she was, what she was doing. And a lot of people who themselves were speech language pathologists or were, um, early childhood educators, occupational therapists. So they already had experience with these devices, uh, AAC devices, augmentative and ass assistive communication devices and um, uh, thousands of people saw that what she was doing. Now, the, the issue was they were all using these improvised things that they were putting together from parts at Home Depot. Mm -hmm. So the, what we did was uh, my background, uh, you know, cognitive science, but then prior to this, we had made a computer game console for dogs. And so we had some experience with making hardware for uh, non-human animals. And so we took the, um, everything that we'd learned and we said, Hey, uh, all these thousands of people, like we can make something for you that will make your lives a lot easier. Um, and then the first thing we came up with was, um, these kind of hex tiles. This is a, this is a much loved hex tile. And, um, the, this lets you organize those sound buttons in a way that is, uh, you know, a lot, uh, a lot easier for, we think for dogs to learn and keeps it from taking over your floor. It means that you don't have to buy plywood, at the hardware store. Okay, I understand. So this is, I think we've all seen the the, the Facebook and Instagram videos of people who have yep. basically reprogrammed uh, Staples Easy Buttons yeah. and things yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. This has taken that concept and made it into a, like a safe, <laughs> uh, configurable, uh, yeah, expandable. Yeah. yeah. And uh, th the thing that, uh, so this does a bunch of things, right? So um, not only can you grow your board gradually by getting, uh, adding puzzle piece, uh, one puzzle piece after the other. The other thing that it really lets you do is um, uh, organize words so that you can have uh, particular word categories uh, like subjects. So if you know, humans that are around or maybe other dogs that would be in the subjects hex tile. And then you could have their toys would be in the objects hex tile locations would be in his own hex tile, okay. uh, greeting words, like social words, like hello, those would be all the, in their own hex tile. So that provides potentially a cue to learners as we call them, okay. um, as to like what the word category is. And then it also, um, the, the other great thing that it does is it might help them remember, where the words are right because because one of the things that that most animals are good at is geography they can remember <laughs> placements of things that's true yeah yeah spatial memory yeah it is usually quite good yeah totally yeah 
Okay, that makes sense. So, you know, you you start to associate this particular, you know, geographical area in the house with with locations or or socializing and things like that. That makes sense to me. Exactly. Now, what people will do is they'll bring all those buttons together into a single uh, into a large board, and we have uh, Alexis uh, has her dog Bunny, who's quite famous, over seven million followers on TikTok. I think. Uh, Alexis's wow. dog Bunny has, I think, over 90, maybe even as many as 100 buttons uh, that uh, she, Bunny wow. uses in very entertaining ways. Uh, the latest thing that Bunny's talking about is uh, her, like, things that have that go into her belly, and, and she's using it in a way that seems to suggest that uh, eating. So, she, you know, she had previously said, you know, bird belly go after bark, looking at a bird and barking at the bird, bird belly go, which was crazy in its own right. Wow. And then, and then she had, it was like around Christmas, I think they'd given her some turkey. And she, she also said something about bird belly, uh, wanting more of it, which is insane. I mean, like that, the fact that the dog would recognize the taste of turkey. I mean, that, that, like, right. Maybe, although maybe she was told that it was a bird. Who knows? Could be. Yeah. Wow. That is all really fascinating. How, where are we in this? Is this product out in the wild now? Can I have one yesterday? (laughs) Yeah, so the Fluent Pet Connect, uh, the Fluent Pet Hex Tile System, I should say, these things, there's a set of hex tiles, buttons. We also have a community of people that uh, you can join to learn how to do this better and troubleshoot and develop your skills with. Um, that is currently available. We've been on the market actually since June of 2020 with, oh, wow. with, with these things. Um, and they're, and they're quite simple. So, I mean, these are just, uh, these are just little sound buttons, Outside. uh, okay. right. Uh, that, that, that you can, oh, let's see if I can do this properly here. Uh, you can basically, you just, they just, uh, you just push them in. They just press fit as they okay. say. And uh, it's uh, we've sold many of them. We've got uh, t- over fifty thousand uh, customers who have purchased these and are kind of joining us in this, uh, you know, discovering of, of what it is that dogs and cats uh, can do. But the reason why I think we're talking is um, we've actually we're coming out with uh, a connected device which kind of lets you uh, get a text message from your dog. And that's, that's like the really cool thing. So, you know, uh-huh. it's not, it's not just the sound that they're transmitting. You might also be able to get like a push notification that says, you know, play outside. Wow. That, okay. That, that definitely takes it to a whole, whole different level there. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we, you know, we've <laughs> taken the liberty of improving the sound quality. So okay. I don't know if it's outside. Wow. Play. Yeah, much better sound quality, and it's like you know, very durable plastic here, so it's hard to. It's not like the the kind of foam pads that we had before. Um, the these buttons, you know, they look uh, they they're totally actually removable, but they're a lot harder. You, know, you, have, you have to actually you know twist them, so they're not as easy for dogs to okay uh, unintentionally remove. So um, they're, you, they're threaded in there in some way. Exactly, and okay. you can, and this well, this accommodates up to like six of those buttons, okay. um, and uh, and so each of these has like a Wi-Fi connection, but it also connects via Bluetooth to um, any other kind of expansion tiles. So you know, for Bunny who has over like maybe a hundred buttons, these uh, there are these expansion hex tiles. They have uh, a Bluetooth connection, so they don't have a speaker, but you can. Uh, uh, you can add them, use them to add to your hex, uh, to your soundboard and press buttons and, uh, uh, you know, have, you know, hundreds of buttons without having to spend the price of a, of a thing that has a Wi-Fi connection and have, you know, a dozen Wi-Fi connected devices in your house that you didn't have before. So right. yeah, makes it more affordable. It just runs on double A batteries for months, we think. Okay. That's, that's really cool. So what kind of price point are we looking at on these guys? So for the for the base, we call this a base hex tile, a base uh, fluent pet connect hex tile. These are running seventy nine ninety five, and uh, the expansion hex tiles on their own will be forty nine ninety five. You can get them in kits of three, uh, so you can get three of the expansion, three of these expansion hex tiles for one hundred nineteen ninety five, uh, and the uh, you can get a kit of one base plus two 
expansion hex styles for 129.95. Currently, they're not. Uh, these will likely be shipping uh, spring summer uh, this year. Okay. So right now, you can kind of place a reservation at our on our website, uh, just fluent.pet slash connect. Very cool. I I love this. It's it is a fascinating uh, yeah, take on the. Because uh, seriously, all the ones that I saw were people reprogramming uh, Staples Easy Buttons, right. <laughs> which is an interesting reuse of those things, but it requires a lot of knowledge on reprogramming and the mm-hmm. internals mm-hmm. of electronics and stuff. Sure, sure, so yeah. This is this is a great way for you know not just myself but my mother to be able to use something to to do this without having to you know, learn soldering and chipsets and things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, these, uh, we think we've, we've made it a lot easier to get started. I mean, we have really comprehensive guides that we've built the, the way we really, um, th- where this thing came from was we, uh, you know, I posted onto one of the forums. I said, Hey, you know, I'd like to make your lives easier by making some custom hardware for you. And, and so we started meeting with these groups of people who were really, really far advanced. In the span of a few months, they had gotten their learners, is what we call them, uh, up to, you know, often more than a dozen uh, buttons that they were using on a semi-consistent basis. So what we did is we, we said to these it's a few dozen people, we said, hey, um, what tips or tricks uh, do you have? for people who are just getting started, what worked for you, what didn't, what kind of practical know-how can you, uh, can you share with us? Sure. And, and, and what we did is we consolidated all of that. We put it into a website uh, called uh, theycantalk.org. Nice. And uh, people could go there and they could see, you know, what were, uh, how should they start, which would be some good first words, which would be some good subsequent words, what are some do's and don'ts, what about what are do's and don'ts for particular words? You know, it's often quite hard for people to learn uh, to, to teach kind of more abstract concepts. You know, water, food, outside. That's you know fairly straightforward. But sure. people are trying to teach things like love you. Um, one of the first abstract concepts that is often taught is like all done, which means <laughs> no more playtime. Uh, so okay. uh, th- all of those kinds of uh, that kind of know how, those kinds of uh, tips we consolidated them together, and that's um, that's really helped us, you know, grow the community and, and bring this to market a lot more quickly. Very cool. Well, I'm truly fascinated. I cannot wait to see this uh, this new generation out on the market. Um, I, you said it once, but for those who want more information, how can they get it? Yeah, uh, go to fluent dot pet. Like I'm fluent in Spanish. Fluent dot pet slash connect. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming on and talking about this. I know for a fact the audience is going to flip for this stuff. Uh, it, it's the perfect combination of of like home and maker. Like you know, it's it's right in that that sweet spot. So totally, totally. It's been great chatting with you. Right back at you. Have a good Bye. one. Take care. TPN CES 2022 coverage is executive produced by Michelle Mendez. Technical directors are Kurt Corliss and Adam Barker. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz and Maurice McCoy. Interviews are edited by Joe Minnie. Hosts are Marlo Anderson, Todd Cochran, Scott Ertz, Christopher Jordan, Danielle Mendez, and Elante Sparks. Las Vegas studio provided by HC Productions. Remote studio provided by Plug Hits Productions. This has been a Tech Podcast Network production. Copyright 2022.